Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a prep with me vlog for vacation. It's been such a long time since I've done one of these. Well, it hasn't been that long. Like, honestly, I just got back from vacation in like October, which I feel like that wasn't that long ago, especially when it comes to vacation. I'm putting primer on, I'm about to do my makeup because I have stuff to do today. But I just wanted to come on here and start the vlog, my prep with me vlog. I'm gonna give you like a little bit of a, like a rundown right now before I like <clears throat> move forward because like tomorrow I probably won't do much like, well I definitely will do talking tomorrow. I was thinking about starting this vlog tomorrow but then I was like when I wake up, I'm not doing, I'm not gonna do much talking, I already know. So I was like might as well start it here. Um. So, so yeah, this is going to be the first vacation of the year. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going just yet. You'll just see it in the vlog. Or if you follow my Instagram, you'll see it there first. My birthday is coming up, Pisces season. Okay, if you're a Pisces. Okay. But anyway, um, so I'm taking a trip for my birthday. I am turning 30 this year. So I definitely wanted to take a really nice, relaxing, you know, type trip. The place that I'm staying at is absolutely gorgeous. Like I'm literally obsessing over. I cannot wait to be there. I already have some experiences lined up, but it's really just relaxation for me, honestly. Like checking out you know really being in tune with you know myself and this new chapter that i'm coming into and you know things like that so yeah girl like that's really what it's giving this vlog is just going to be just that like prepping with me um before i go on vacation so today i'm doing my hair and makeup i'm actually about to head and take some pictures for my birthday and then after that i have to like run some errands i have to wash my hair tonight because i am getting some braids like i think it's called bohemian or like goddess braids i'm not sure um but i am getting some braids because i don't want to deal with my hair whenever i'm on vacation like i just don't you know what i'm saying like my hair is already a struggle i've already been having like you know my ups and downs with my hair like the past year um, tomorrow morning i'm getting my hair done by the same person that i always go to like i said she's about two hours away from me my appointment is at 7 a.m and with that <laughs> I have to wake up so early so that's why I wanted to start the vlog now because I already know that I am not going to be in the I'm not a morning person at all and I know that I'm not going to be in the mood as soon as I wake up like I'm gonna be instantly regretting that time or instantly regretting it only because like I'm not a morning person and I have to get on a roll mad early to be there at 7 a.m. I may do a little bit of packing tomorrow. Just really depends on like how I feel and you know how the day goes, how early I get back, you know what I mean? So I may start that packing process tomorrow. Um, definitely Wednesday and Thursday, I'm doing nothing but straight packing. So with that, you guys will be able to see the kind of like behind the scenes of me like packing, how I plan for my outfits, things like that. I actually tried something different. So that's why I want to share it with you guys um like naturally sunny here on youtube um she does this thing with like canva um i would see it on her um on her stories um that she does these things like with canva where she like plans out her outfits and i really really like that I never tried that before so i was like let me try let me see um i also was watching one of jackie ina's tiktok videos and she was like um she takes a picture like she lay out all her outfits and then she takes a picture of her outfits just so she's not scrambled you know like whenever she is um on vacation so i'm gonna try that we're gonna see how it works so that's just gonna be my process i'm gonna show you how i did it and how i'm packing um pretty much as far as like the packing process is not changing when it comes to like the suitcase and like, uh packing cues and things like that like that doesn't change like for me but i just want to see if this new process that i've learned over the past few like weeks um or months if that's gonna like be helpful or not so yeah that's really that and then on friday i'm getting my nails done on saturday i believe i'm dropping zane off at my parents house and then sunday i am really just going to make sure that everything is like good i want to be done packing by saturday honestly or by friday to be honest with you and then like sunday i just kind of want to like chill you know straighten up the house and things like that because i don't like to leave my house if it's like dirty or not necessarily dirty but just like unorganized all over the place i don't like to leave it that way so i'm really not trying to do anything on sunday um at all um but just you know making sure that everything is like straight into the you know in the house or whatever but yeah i just wanted to start the intro of the vlog i'm about to do my makeup i'm about to eat real quick do my makeup and then i'll probably talk to you guys like tomorrow or whatever i don't know <sighs> 
Hello y'all. I'm about to get in the shower, wash my hair. That's why I have like the little towels or whatnot. I actually need to get like a little rack, not a rack, um, like a towel holder. Like I have one, but it's all the way over there by the door. Like, and there is a towel holder right there, but like, they make it make sense. I need something right when I get out the shower. Like, this if I get out the shower, I'm like right here. I have to on my mat. I'm right here on my mat. I still have to. I mean, I guess, but that's for decor. I need one of those little hooks. You know what I'm talking about? Like those little hooks that I have, like a little wall right here. Let me show you. Oh, see, right there. I have that little wall right there. Like I want a little hook. Something cute. You know what I mean? Um, so I can just put the uh, my towels right there. But that's besides the point. I am back home. I actually finished eating probably about 10 minutes ago. It is 7.37. I am about to get in the shower and wash my hair. I just got back from a long, 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 long day, y'all. You don't even understand. I am literally so freaking tired. Um, like, the past few days have been really hectic, really busy. You know what I mean? For me. And it's just so tiring. Um, and I just cannot wait. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to be on vacation so I can honestly, like, just relax and not have, like, really anything to do like if i am taking i don't know why it's so light it's that's very light okay that's better um but like if i am taking pictures like i do it on my own like i don't have to worry it's not like a requirement you know what i mean and that's what i'm like just so here for like i'm just waiting just to relax be in the pool or whatever so like i told you guys like um in my q a like get ready with me video and like the beginning of the year this is more so of like just a vacation you know type trip for me i am not doing the most when it comes to these trips i am going to indulge in some experiences um but it's not going to be a lot okay like i want to really just be laying up by the pool and just really eating and just really enjoying you know doing nothing but enjoying nature like the surroundings you get what i'm saying if i am gonna do content it's gonna be whenever i want it to be you know what i mean but it's not gonna be like for the whole trip I'm not gonna show me washing my hair because literally this is like it's the same process you know I'm, it's, it's not nothing too serious um and i also just kind of showed me washing my hair a little bit whenever i did my sunday reset um which was like the last sunday reset i did on my channel but i am using some different products this time i actually went to the beauty supply store i don't really have a specific regimen that i use when it when come when it comes to washing my hair i literally just do whatever you know what i'm saying like i use <laughs> any type of product i'm not gonna lie but i recently went back to the design essential so i have the design essential oat protein and henna it's a deep cleansing shampoo i also got the design essential um almond butter sulfate free express instant moisturizing conditioner so it just looks like this but this is a hemp seed oil right here this is what it looks like deep conditioner hair treatment um, so yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna use this or just use this, oh Lord, as a deep conditioner and leave it in for like 10, 15 minutes while I'm in the shower. I have like a little shower cap as well. So we'll see. So y'all, I'm about to wash my hair and that's all I'm using and I will catch you guys in the morning. Hello everybody, it is the next day. It's actually about seven or eight o'clock PM, but I'm about to show you some things that I got. Um, so we can start fresh tomorrow with like the packing process and things like that so <laughs> i got my hair done as you can see i did like record a little bit of footage yesterday like i first of all i forgot my camera here so i was recording on my iphone so i did record like a little bit of footage that i wanted to put in but i decided not to put it in because i didn't record enough footage um as you guys know like yesterday i i didn't get home till 10 o'clock p.m yesterday um she lives about two hours almost two hours away from me and um i got up at like 4 30 a.m and i left out of here at like 5 a.m um and i arrived at my appointment at 7 a.m and i didn't get finished till about eight o'clock uh p.m which um put me here a little after 10 uh, p.m. so I was tired it was a long day yesterday I didn't get um, any content here on the vlog so I apologize because I kind of wanted to give you a little you know something something or whatever but anyway um, I'm starting the vlog like super duper late today because like um, 
super tired i am very 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 tired to be honest i woke up and i had like a headache i wasn't feeling good like you know just sitting um in a chair for so long yesterday like my neck was hurting my body was aching so they're not like tight at all there's a few here in the back that is like you know it's like it's giving a little a little 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 pressure and then up here then up here right here it was giving like a little pressure but yeah i woke up with a headache i had to take medicine once i felt better I really had to do a lot of work. The Bohemian braids, um, I did move. She had this like twirl like in like a little, you know what I'm saying, a little swoop right here going this way. But I just went ahead and I did it this way. And um, I was gonna put it like, swoop it like this. You see, like that. But I've been laying on my hair and <laughs> it's doing what it wanna do right now. But this is how it looks. Um, you know, this is my first time having like the little bohemian like type braids. I think they're so pretty. You know, this is how it looks here on the side, if you can see. And this was also like in a little swoop right here. But again, I've been laying on my hair. We're just at the middle part for right now until it loosen up some. Um, this is how it looks here in the back. Super pretty. Sorry, my hoodie is probably like covering it, but super pretty and it is buttling. All right, so I'm gonna show you some packages that I got. Um, some of these packages were like things that I wanted for the trip. And then some of these are like mm, a little gift to myself for my birthday. You get what I'm saying? Like, you get what I'm saying? I do have some more packages coming. Um, I think tomorrow and by the end of this week. So um, I am going to, you know, show you those as they come in. So we're gonna start with um, Amazon first. So the first thing I got here is this little hat. I think it is like so freaking cute. I was kind of nervous to like order it um, because I didn't see, a, I don't think I've seen a lot of reviews, but maybe I did. It does have like this little detachable like I don't know, a little string here, and it's also adjustable. You can have this on and it'll stay put. One of the things I really love about this is that it has like a little bow here in the back and it's so freaking cute. I'm not sure if I wanna wear it like, let me show you. And I also, and what I, what I really love, this hat is not gonna give right now. <laughs> it's funny right now. This hat is not gonna give right now because you can't get the full picture. I got on this little oversized hoodie, you know what I'm saying? But I got this in a size large, I believe. And it fits over the braids, which I love so much. So I'm not sure if I want this type of vibe, um, even though this is the front and this is the back, or if I want, I don't know, maybe that's not given. But yeah, this is so freaking cute. I got two fans, a black and a beige one. So it just comes in these like little boxes right here. And they do come with a USB um, cord so you can charge them up. The black one is just a tad bit bigger. I'm not exactly sure which one I like <laughs> the most, to be honest with you. But yeah, um, they're obviously a little bit different. The black one is, like I said, a tad bit bigger. They both have three settings here. The charger is on the back right here and the charger is on the side right here. So I don't know, you, I'm gonna turn them on. So that's the first setting. That's the second setting. And that's the third setting. As far as like, they both give it air, okay? Like, they're both giving the same amount of speed, no matter, you know, the size. This is my first time opening this up, but I got this little, um, what is it called, a kimono? I don't know, y'all had said, I remember like back in 20, probably 2017, like when I first started YouTube, I had did like a Shein haul and I said Camino, I think I believe. And girl, baby, they tore me up in the comments. Like, I was like, well, damn, like. <laughs> but yeah, I got this Kimono. Let me make sure I said it right because the girls will literally tear you up. Like they will literally tear you up. Like they ain't never pronounced nothing wrong before. You know what I'm saying? Kimono. Yeah kimono whatever so i got this um kimono from amazon and it's like short sleeve what is happening girl i gotta try this one because what is it i don't know if this was showing there like why is it an opening like that it has like these little long you know these flared out sleeves here and it has like a little split here and i thought this would be super cute to walk around 
you know what I'm saying, like in the room, um, just get dressed, like if I don't, you know what I'm saying? And it comes with like a little belt here. I love the color. And then with the braids and stuff, it gives like, you know, like vacay, like vibes and stuff. So yeah, I think this was like cute. I'm gonna try it on just to make sure it gives because the sleeve is looking a little funky. Got another bag, smart toiletry bag. I decided to get like an all black one because like I'm obsessed with black but this is how it looks and again you guys have seen this before just in a different color um but yeah this is how it looks nice and fresh it has like a little you know pocket back here as well um I find that I can put like mostly all of my stuff in here like skincare body care um as well as like uh dental care and then um even any little like medicine or whatever else but i got this like black um what is it called um jewelry like box it's like a mini jewelry box it's been popular on tiktok so it looks like this let me step out the frame so you can see it um you can like put some necklaces here some dainty necklaces like nothing too serious and then obviously like your rings some earrings and stuff like that but now that i think about it like it's good to just have you know what i'm saying like especially if like you're not carrying a lot or you're not doing the most but i think i'm gonna still carry my other jewelry bag which is also from bag smart i'm gonna show you that later because i just feel like this is like too small and i have some earrings that are coming that are just not going Going to like fit in this so I don't want to carry this because like I just feel like it's gonna be I may carry this it just depends but I just feel like it's not going to serve me purpose and it's just gonna take up space and then the last thing I got from Amazon um, was these like head wraps here they came vacuum seal like the pink color this blue color and like the white color so this is kind of like my little birthday gift you know I mean to myself I actually got two like birthday gifts uh, to myself um, nothing too serious, nothing too serious, but you know, something super cute or whatever. It came like this, if you're wondering, like just plain. I got another Jacquemus bag. Um, I got it in this suede brown color. I think it's so gorgeous. I still got the small because like that's my vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't really like big, big bags. Like I'm a medium or medium type girl. But like this is how it looks. And let me step out the frame so you can see like the color of it. It is absolutely gorgeous. And you can see like just the like suede is so freaking cute. And it's a neutral bag as well that I can wear with so many like different things. This is how it looks like in the inside. And it also also comes with this like little strap here detachable strap so I did debate on this bag I'm not going to lie um this is also from Saks Fifth Avenue but um I really wanted like a nice like beach bag um other than like my Saint Laurent um tote that I got which still gives like uh, beach vibes beach pool vibes when I went to DR in Cancun and I took that bag and I was taking it to, like to the pool and stuff like I just don't think again that that bag is meant for the pool that bag is not meant to be like in the sand at the pool or anything like that to be honest with you i got you probably can't see it but a chloe bag but this is what it looks like girl this is so freaking gorgeous and it is such a vibe it is definitely giving vacay uh vibes and i'm just so freaking here for it like i love oh how cute uh it has obviously like this little basket you know what i mean like type texture which i personally think is perfect for uh the beach and for the pool and stuff it also has like this little i don't know like this little leather um base here which i think is so cute and i just love the shape of this bag and just how it looks in general so this is what i got and then the last thing that i'm going to um show you is from this new company that i found um and it's from monday swimwear and like i said i'll show you i have another swim set but i'll show you that um tomorrow whenever i start to like pack and you know lay stuff down all right y'all <laughs> i got my food you know how i just got sushi oh it looks so good look at this it's just two mr crab rolls all right so let me get through this real quick because i'm gonna have to take van out soon now they could have put a little bit more sauce on this mm. it's good oh I ordered from Monday Swimwear. This is my first time ordering from them. Um, the, the shipping was really, really quick. Um, this is like their little packaging. 
which is just says Monday swimwear. I think it's super cute. I won't lie. I think for all of this, I ordered six items and like there were sets and a cover up. It was quite expensive. I'm not going to hold you. Um, I got a discount since it was my first time ordering. I got $54 off and the total plus shipping i did expedite the shipping only because like i wanted to make sure that it was going to get here in time um so that was 18 dollars. but i think if you order anything over 200 dollars, then it's free so the sh total plus express shipping came up to be minus the 55 dollar discount came up to be 508 dollars and 32 cents for swimwear so it is quite expensive i'm not going to lie and i don't think that i would order from them again um, I just wanted to try it out, but I don't know. I just have to see like the quality and what it gives and stuff like that. Um, I got everything in like a size medium. So I got this little set here. I'm just going to step out the frame. So hopefully you can like, it can focus. So this is what it is. I got everything in a size medium and, um, obviously you have adjustable straps. These are not detachable. Um, and then it just ties here in the back which i personally you know don't like but it's cute like i kind of got it for a specific type of look and again it's just the same print i think it's like super freaking cute i love it so i got this cover up here which is like the same freaking vibe as this one wear and it's just super freaking cute it has like these little frayed um edges again so freaking cute so i love it i'm gonna have to try on the swimwear just to make sure it fits for me so this is like the same kind of top again it is in ivory this is how it looks super cute with the underwire and it has like the same type of vibe straps are adjustable and then it has like that little bow in the back and then i got some high-waisted uh bottoms to match because that's just again my vibe um so this is just how it looks here um as far as like the quality the quality seems like really really good um so i have to try it on um just to see like what it gives and the last thing that i got here a crochet skirt which i'm so happy about like i really think it's gonna give i got this in a size i think i got this in a size small yeah girl i'm so happy i got this in a size small because i really wanted it to like fit i hope it fits oh it's long so this is how it looks it has like this little thick let me see band here yeah this, yeah yeah it has like this little thick band here super cute and it's just like crochet all the way down ah oh, it's giving hopefully you can see it but it's literally giving i am so here for it love it love it love it and like i'm gonna it's long i'm definitely gonna do a little picture in this a little picture moment Ugh. i'm gonna eat my food i may come back on camera to show you some other things so we can get right to packing tomorrow so i don't have to like go through that process but let me just eat first girl Zane in the cut. <laughs> what Zane? Go play with your toys. We just got back in from his walk. Um, I finished eating. Actually, I need to throw this stuff in the trash. I had coffee from Chick Fil A earlier um, today. Disgusting. I don't know what was going on, but it was very much like giving flat, um, no flavor. So I added some creamer, and it was still nasty. So I didn't finish that. That sushi literally ate everything. I don't eat wasabi. I don't really like the taste of wasabi. I'm gonna move on to how I've been planning my Zane. Go come here, please. But anyway, so I use um, my iPad and I use Canva um, to plan outfits. Okay. All right. So hopefully you guys can see. Um, I tried to set it up really nice. I just put 30th birthday vacay edit. At the bottom, I will put what it is. So this was like supposed to be an airport look. I'm not sure if I'm gonna carry this bag or the black one because the black one is bigger, but I'll have to see. I don't have an airport look yet, girl. I don't know what the airport look is going to be, but yeah. 
So this is my birthday dress. It says like birthday pic, you know, chapter 30. I think that might be my caption. I don't know. And all these images I got off the internet. Um, so I would either screenshot it or like save the image to my phone and then I'll just upload it to Canva. One thing I love about Canva um, is that you can remove the background so it can give you like a really seamless look. I did add like a little diffuser, you know, right here just to, you know, make the stuff pop and stuff. So this is like my birthday dress. I did take some pictures in this, but um, I'll ready but I'm not sure if I'm like super satisfied with it so that's that look so this is like a resort brunch wear look um super freaking cute if you want to know where everything is from definitely um check out my Instagram um post because yeah we have some like shoes here I'm still waiting on those and then I have like the earrings so this is like the vibe that I'm going for um super freaking cute um, again, resort wear. This ain't really as cute as the other ones. I just threw this together. So these are all items that I have in my possession or they're on their way to me. Um, that's that. This is like, again, resort wear. This, this is giving. I'm not sure about this purse just yet, but this is giving, okay? And I think one of the key things, like, when creating these, uh, layouts here on canva it's just to make sure that you have your outfit make sure you have your jewelry make sure you just have your accessories there so whether it's shoes your bags your um jewelry like that's going to be very very helpful when it comes to packing so you in so you know exactly like what you're looking for i don't have shoes for this right now i'm not sure just yet as far as like with the shoes on this one so that's why it's not there but this is pretty much the look that it's given for vacay tell me it's not giving girl you can't say it oh Baby, 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 like, wow, okay? Like, it is literally freaking giving, okay? So, anyway, this is also another resort wear. Obviously, you just seen the bag that I just got. These earrings are coming. Um, But, yeah, this is just, like, the whole little vibe that we're giving. I may take pictures in these, but it may not be all of these. And another thing that I want to mention when it comes to packing, especially if you don't want to carry a lot of stuff, I want to make sure that I have a bag or a shoe that's going to go with multiple things. I think it's so helpful to make sure that you have a bag that's going to go with multiple outfits. So like this is going with this. Um, also, these sandals are going with this one. Obviously, we got this bag going with this. It can still go with this. It can go with this as well. These earrings can go with this, and obviously this as well. This is like the vibe that I'm going for. Um, and yeah, I have things that are going to go well with one another and complement one another, so I'm not carrying so much stuff. Like, you get what I'm saying? This nice little breakfast, brunch look, maybe even a lunch look, like it's super cute. Bathing suit. Super cute. Um, this is what you seen earlier from Monday. I'm gonna bring my hat. So I have that like, you know, in here, the bag and then the shoes. So as you can see, this bag is going with multiple outfits. It's not just for like one day. So all the bags that I'm bringing, I'm probably going to use with multiple outfits at least twice, if not three or more times. Um, and then this right here, this was like, again, the Monday swimwear set. And then I added the little hat to it because I think that's so cute. Like, tell me that's not giving. Um, this is another look. Um, we still got the same hat this is coming as well and i'm going to use the same bra top as this one uh it's not a bra top it's a swim the swim top from monday and i'm going to pair it with this little nice fringy cute cute skirt i think this is super cute again i don't know if i'm bringing this bag or not and then i just put this like as room wear this is what it looks like pretty much all that i have it is a lot um of outfits it's 14 pages so like 14 different outfits and they're not heavy or anything like that so it's not going to take up a lot of room and like the suitcase and stuff like that like i said this is super easy to create you just go on canva you create a blank canvas and you then you know you can put whatever title you know whatever font or whatever you want on there and then you just take pictures from the internet things that you've already purchased or even if you wanted to you know if you already have it and you want to take a picture of it on your phone you can then insert it to canva and then you can just remove the background and then there you go, super easy. And tomorrow I will show you the packing process, so I will see you then. Hey, hey also it's the next day. I actually just got two packages. 
but I cannot find my scissors. Like, what the freak? So today is going to be the packing day. I've been up for a while, you know, I've got the house together. I'm actually washing clothes now. That is one thing that I like to do um, whenever I'm starting to pack. I actually like to wash like the day before and have everything like, you know, settle. But you guys know, like I was saying yesterday was just not a really good day for me as far as like, you know, I had a headache and then I had to get some work done. Anyway, so let's start off with what I got from Sephora. I'm actually so excited because I got these like two new perfumes. The first thing that I got is this Summer Fridays. I've been wanting to like try this. So I got the Summer Fridays um, Shimmering, uh, no, Summer Silk Nourishing Body Lotion. This is just so cute. It's so simple. I don't know. I just love like the wording. You guys know I'm a sucker for packaging. Um, so yeah, it's just like a body lotion. Um, I'm going to try and see like what it does. Test it out and stuff like that. But got that. I'm gonna stay on the same brand the next thing that i got is the summer fridays lip butter balm and i really wanted to try this because i've been seeing so many people talk about this i actually got two and this is the next one that i got here like the packaging is like super cute they also have other um what do you call it scents yeah they also have other scents um but i just decided on these two and if i like them that's how that looks and if i like them i will definitely get more that's the applicator oh yeah this smells this smells so good i love the vanilla this is vanilla and then this kind of smells the same so the vanilla beige and the vanilla just smells the same lip balm yes i got a lot of lip balms i don't know why but i got another one of these which is the berry um the lip glowy balm berry i actually have on some right now but i actually got the sleeping mask on like the overnight sleep lip mask or something um because i can't find my other one but i've got this one this is like this is a repurchase i absolutely love like the smell of this it's the same one as this one here what is it berry yeah it's the same one as this um but this one's what i have on my lips right now i don't know why it's not focusing but yeah this is what i have on my lips right now and then um that's just for like overnight sleep but girl i use it all the time especially if i can't find this one moving on to more body things i got um they were having a sale on this and so i decided to go ahead and get it i don't think i had this before um but i decided to you know get me some riri some Fenty Beauty. I got the Fenty Beauty Body Lava. This is a body um, luminizer. So this is really going to give. Okay, this is going to give. I'm actually going to try just a little bit more like right now. Let me see. Can you see my, what you call it? Ooh. I don't want to put too much. I can't remember how much it was, but I think it was literally on sale for like 20 something dollars and it's originally like 50. So let's just rub this in and see what it's giving. Oh, that was a lot. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Ooh. It's like, I'm just nervous. Like I don't want it to like transfer on my clothes, but we'll have to see. Oh, that gay. All right, so we just gonna test this out and see what it's given. It may not like, I'm literally putting like this paper towel on it and I see a little bit of shimmer. You're not gonna be able to see it at all. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so it may not transfer. Let me find out. Like I'm literally rubbing there's nothing on there so that's definitely giving vacation vibes and your girl wants to be glowing i've never tried this before um but it's giving vacation so i was like let me you know broaden my horizon so first of all this is what it's called i'm gonna butcher the name so i really don't even want to say it arian 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 so it's the mediterranean honeysuckle they had a new scent as well. I think it was limited edition, but the review, it was really only one review and it was a bad review. And I was like, it's not right. <laughs> I was like, I don't have to get that. Like I can try this. How cute is the packaging? It shouldn't take this long for this thing to focus. How cute. Let me see. Can you see it now? How cute is the packaging? 
I love this like marble type top, like this blue. Again, it gives such vacation vibes. We're gonna spray a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I heard you're not supposed to rub, so I'm just kind of like lightly dabbing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is giving grown vibes, sturdy vibes. It has like a hint. It's not too sweet, but it's like a hint of sweet. It's very sophisticated. Like, I love this. So this is definitely giving vacation. Like, I'm in a rainforest. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, this is giving, okay? Like, oh, it smells so good i'm so excited because i've been wanting to try this for a very very long time i know people have a love-hate relationship with this brand but i've been wanting to try it for a long time and like i said it gives very like vacation vibes and it's this the tom ford bitter peach okay this was a little money like look how cute this is again vacation vibes i love the packaging on this you can't even you can't even see it but this is just such a gorgeous little bottle it's very much little i think the bottle goes up to like 300 and something i don't know but i was like yeah i'm not gonna spend that much money yeah this is this is mm, that smells so good okay let me let me let me get this i'm gonna let it dry a little bit It's not bad. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. It's definitely giving bitter peach, you know? I'm definitely bringing those two, and I definitely want to bring this one, the Golden Nectar Nest. This smells so good as well, and it literally gives, again, vacation vibes. The next thing we got is Miss Lola. I love Miss Lola. I've been like a fan of Miss Lola, like for y'all since i kind of first started they will always have my heart they were one of the first brands to work with me and then on top of that they were also like sending me um like pr like christmas gifts things like that or whatever and every conversation that i've had with them as well like they treated me so well oh they treated me so well or whatnot they still do like don't don't get me wrong it's just that since i like kind of got bigger and i increased my rate like they were still trying to work with me. So I love Miss Lola, okay? So I got this skirt. You guys kind of seen, seen this on the little Canva um, inspo board that I created. So it's just this color. Again, vacay vibes. So freaking cute. But it has like the little fringe details here, which I absolutely freaking love. And you guys see I'm going to wear it with this little white top. Next thing I got. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I got these shoes. Vacation type vibes. I don't know if I'm going to like wear these out or not i don't have a big heel um got your toes out so it's just really cute and then this just goes around your ankle so this is how it looks i just love the design it's so freaking cute Ugh. again you seen this on the canva doc that i showed you last night so gorgeous giving what was what was that mm-hmm Oh, I just really thought that these also were giving vacay vibes. Again, you guys seen this on that like Canva spread that I have. Like, oh, I love, love, love these. It's not heavy at all. Super cute. Love this look. Yeah. Let's get into some packing details here. So these are the two suitcases that I'm bringing. You guys probably already, sorry, I hope this angle looks good. Um, it has like this little sticker on from the last thing, but I'm not worried about that right now. They're from Away um, Travel and they're just a matte black. This is the extended or the, this, I think this is like the extra large carry on, I believe. And this right here is just the medium. I actually wanted to get the large because like I wanted a little bit more space, but you know, it is what it is. I didn't really want to pay that much money for a large. Literally been traveling with these a lot and you know, they're pretty good. Obviously my carry on is in better shape than the <laughs> medium because I do have to check the medium and they just be doing what they want with the uh, medium. So much stuff in here these are the um other bag smart um bags like travel bags that i have this one here is like a tech bag so you can put all your charges your cords and stuff like that in here this right here was or is my um jewelry 
organizer. So you put your necklaces right here, your valuable items right here, places for like your earrings, your rings, and another compartment right here that you can put like, you know, valuables and stuff like that in here. Again, this typically goes either in my carry-on um, or like my personal item, which will be like my, you know, purse type thing. I have these little shower shoes here. These are all my swimwear stuff. Okay, I'm so happy about this, honestly. And this is like more vacation stuff. Like, you see, these are things that I did not wear and that I got for my last vacation. So I'm so happy about that. I have it all in one place and I don't have to go like looking for it. These are the packing cubes that I have. As you can see, these are also from Amazon. I will leave this down below, but I also have an Amazon storefront that's labeled travel. So you can find everything there. And here's another thing that I wanna show you I got from Amazon. It's the sunglass case. So it protects your sunglasses and stuff. I was checking this guy next door when her parents went out. She felt say, hey boy, come on right around. So I knocked at the door, you were standing with a bottle of red wine, ready to pour. Just in long black satin, lace to the floor. So I went in and we sat there and stuck his cigarettes and told me about the cause it sounded interesting. So we jumped right in, all calls I get it to answer phone. I mean, me and her parents were kind of cool, but they were the fine line between me and you. We were just doing things and people in love do. Parents trying to find out what we were up to. Saying, why were you creeping around late last night? Why did I see two shadows moving in your bedroom? So another thing, sorry y'all, the angle is bad. <laughs> So another thing that I like to do, so I pretty much have all the clothes that I want like in a section that I'm going to pack. Um, I think that's very helpful then, um, so I can then start packing everything instead of like I'm looking for something and then trying to pack. So the thing that I like to do is um, make a little note. So I'm just gonna do a little checklist and then I'm just gonna say that I need, you know, two airport outfits, sleepwear, activity wear, and I think that's pretty much, and then obviously um, underwear. So now all I'm doing is laying out all the accessories and the shoes that I want to bring. So lay out my jewelry.
straight up. Cash in, cash out, cash in, cash out, cash in, cash out, cash in, cash out, 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 cash in, cash out, cash in, cash out, cash in, cash out, cash in, cash out, cash out, cash out, cash out, cash out, cash out. Ryan in the car with no keys, straight up. Who would be short with no speed? I got slot of game, nigga, I'm reppin'. Tunnel, chopper get the preach and I'm the reverend. Call him new era, he cappin'. Yeah, them the type of niggas I ain't back on. Now put the show, man, my back in, cash in. 21, I'm the sound dog, I'm taxin'. Ryan in the coupe in the sport. Yeah, my bodyguard. Like a horse, she gon' set me up like it's a chore. I got to the lot Ferrari on the tour. Buy what you mean when I get bored. Bored. Put my side pieces out of porch. A porch. Wanted to turn me to an asshole. I ain't gon' lie, I was just being poor. I put Chanel on my seat. And we're up in water, got Chanel on my seat. Hello everybody, it is the next day. I am here about to get my nails done. Um, I'm literally, I thought it was gonna be late, but I made it here just on time. Um, my appointment is at 12 and it is, <clears throat> it's 11.59 right now. So I'm about to um, head in. Hopefully she'll let me record. Um, I know she has some different rules, so I'm gonna ask her as soon as I get in. all right y'all so i just finished got my nails done i just did a classic french tip like i told you i would do and i just kept the same um shape um so i'm about to go to my p.o box and um return this thing from amazon and then i'm gonna head back to the house so it is saturday and i'm about to finish up packing um i did drop zane off today so i'm completely by myself and i just miss the boy so much like i always do this okay it's so bad but i'm always like dropping zane off can't wait to drop him off and then when he's not here like i just be missing him stop by target picked up a few things i got like a travel loofah a travel deodorant mouthwash off insect repellent i got two of these some more click brush heads um, wet ones a deodorant for again for the house i got two of these it's just like a little tsa approved travel container kit to do a check bag so my whole thing with this this is a very like 
this bag i don't know how i'm gonna do this like how do people just carry this as they carry on like their personal item there's no way i can do this the the bottom is so structured where i don't know what i'm gonna do i just wish that it bend more and i gotta figure out how to like I'm just so scared to bend it. I don't know, maybe I would need to look to see how people can travel with this. This is the only thing that I'm nervous about. Like, I don't know how to transport this. Everything else is good. I'll check back with the end with y'all tomorrow. I'm gonna try and do as much stuff as I can. Pray for me. All right, y'all, so it is the next day. It is Sunday, March 5th, I believe. I leave tomorrow. And um, it is actually 5-17. Girl, I had a day. That, through pretty much everything that I needed to do. Woke up this morning, I did order some breakfast, so I had that to come and I started working on my uh, my vlog that I wanna get up today. It's 517, I don't know if I'm gonna, it's finished, I just gotta kinda go through it and add some music and stuff like that, so I'll probably do it after or it may just go up tomorrow. We'll see. I was able to go on um, Sephora and get this mini size fresh cleanser soy face cleanser it's a very gentle gentle cleanser i always use this and i love it next thing that i was able to get as well is this um fresh kombucha facial treatment which is also going to be super duper helpful like i had the big size bottle so now i got this mini size one and that's going to be just so helpful and it's going to save a lot of space i also picked up some lashes this is my first time trying them um, it's the Lily Lashes. This is the Lily Faux Lashes. So this is what this looks like. It's like that little wispy type feel. It's super freaking cute. This one right here is really, really dramatic. So I don't know if I'm going, if I like this or not because that's not really typical of my style. But these lashes are expensive as hell. Like, like these lashes are like twenty something dollars a piece. So it's just like they better be given. And then the last thing I got was the Stay All Day Stilla um, Liquid Eye Liner which I absolutely love. I went to Ulta and every time I go to Ulta, I have a bad freaking experience and it is so annoying to me. I don't know, like I'd hate to bring like race into it, but even when I'm looking on TikTok, I see a lot of people, I see a lot of black women who have an issue with freaking Ulta, which is so crazy because we go in here and we spend all our money in these stores and we get treated like crap. And I'm just like, what's your problem? So I got another Chanel, oh. Wait a minute, yeah, this is the bottom. I got another Chanel lotion here. And I just love the whole like aesthetic. I'm trying to show my like view in here, but I love the whole aesthetic. I got the Morphe uh, Mini Continuous Setting Spray. Um, I had like a full size one and I really wasn't trying to take that. I got this Micellar Cleansing Water here and a travel size one, the OG. Got the MAC OG Lip Pencil in Chestnut. It's like literally a fave of mine. I got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. They did not have it in um, the regular size bottle, so I had to get it in the mini size. As you can see, it's really tiny. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's like so tiny. It's actually really cute, but you know. I got the NYX Brow Tin Pen. I love using this, and it's gonna give you like that quick little effortless brow, really, really quick, If you, especially if you don't wanna do the most. So I had to get another one of those. I was able to get my hands on the Fenty Beauty, okay? Uh, Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I got the HBIC and the MVP. I'm thinking about trying this on like TikTok, so head over there. So you can see like how it was this giving from target i just really got some small stuff to get another micellar water here because i didn't need one regardless like the mini one's cool but i needed a bigger one anyway these you know long hair ties here for my hair and then i went and got this little cool funky little you know it's a candle holder i assume yeah it's a candle holder but i just like the look of it and you can see like the texture of it and stuff it's so freaking cute and then i went to sally's and that's the last thing i got these i got this jamaican mango and lime and i don't know if this is gonna work i don't know at all but i got the island oil so it just looks like this I really went into sally to get this which is the no more itch growth spray maximum relief because y'all these braids, I do have a little bit of itch right here, but I have the most severe, severe itch at the nape of my neck and it's bumps back there. So I know that it was braided like too tight in the nape of my neck, but it's, it's so bad where sometimes it's like, it's burning. Like that's how bad it is. Like 
so bad. Some people be like, yeah, do a vinegar wash with your braids and stuff like that. Because the first time I went to her, I had to bring everything. And then the last time she was like, you know, everything is provided. And like this time everything was still provided. Um, so I didn't think because I didn't have no bad experience or reaction, like, you know, in my head the last time that, you know, it would be cool this time. So I wasn't able to do a vinegar wash or anything like that on the braids because I know they spray it to keep it from like, you know, molding and all that X, Y, and Z stuff. But like, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I'm allergic to the braids because I, like I said, it's slightly itchy, but not really, but the back is super itchy, like, super super itchy still and just very irritating so somebody was like this is tea okay they said this is tea i'm gonna try it out and i'm gonna see i just really 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 need it right here in the nape of my neck and i have a lot of bumps right there and i think that's another reason it's like oh my god like it just it's been a few days like come on now <laughs> All right, y'all, so I just wanted to quickly show you this um, before I like end the vlog. This is my medium sized bag. I was able to fit all my clothes in here. All the clothes are here. These are just some socks. And then all of my makeup, toiletries, shoes is um, here, shower shoes. And then I have a pair of sneakers. They are like pushed a little bit down, but these are the Reebok, uh, not Reeboks. <laughs> These are the Adidas, like, I can't remember what they are, but they're, like, super, like, flexible, so they can, like, be, you know, pushed down. This is how everything is packed, and it, everything pretty much fits. Like, everything really fits. Oh, and then I'm going to do my shower cap in here, but I'm about to take a shower, so I'm not going to be able to put it in right now. Oh, even when it comes to the carry-on, it fits. I can go ahead and close this up, and I have so much. Look at that. I have space this is my camera equipment that is like my um it's a sleepwear and like a lounge wear and this is like my toiletry bag like it fits like look at that that's gonna close perfectly the only issue that i have is this bag here which i talked to y'all about last night so i'm going to try and fit that in i already had like how i was going to bend it but so we'll see but yeah i just wanted to show you everything is done this is my my bag right here and i have this little organizer that i got from amazon i got all of my little stuff that i need to you see how easy that fit in and it will fit my laptop and my what is it called and my laptop and my ipad um, here's my wallet, my passport right here, and then I have this little room. I know it's dark, but you can't see, but I have like, I found my stand, but I have this whole little room right here. Let me see if I can brighten it up. Hopefully you can see it's brightening a little bit, but I have this whole little room here on the side. So if I wanted to add like a little water bottle or something, I could. So I have a lot of room with this one. I do need to like <laughs> do it, take a lint roller to it because baby it's giving very much linty. But yeah, that's it. But I really appreciate you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the vlog, okay? I'll see you in my next video.